fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> Hi all, well here we are again with part two of the Hurricane build. Now, as you all know, I had this pre-production one and uh, I've put up part one where we had a look at it, so I'm not going to do an unboxing with the new one, but we're going to build the new one, put the retracks on it. I'm also going to show you how to fit other wheels in case you want to put some Jubo diamond lights on or something like that. And uh, we'll get rid of this one now because she's no longer any good, although she flies beautiful as you've seen. A couple of little points about that paint. I didn't even get the ones that made it from the first shipment, this was a pre-production one, but even this one, when you tip it up on something and stick it, this paint's still quite sticky. I think most of us will be very happy that they didn't release it and they've released it again and it's a lot better. Anyway, let's get rid of this one and get the new one out and have a look, shall we? Well, here's what the new box looks like. We only had the white one with the pre-production. Well, there we go, just a quick peek, because as I said, we've already done an unboxing, so I'll get the wings out and we'll start straight away on the retracks. Now, we've already seen the retracks, we've got them. Now, there's one thing. This part here is too short on the retracks that we have to buy for these. You can buy the pre-bent struts, which just slot in. These are a lot easier. I'd recommend these over the others, but your own preference, what you want to do. You'll also need the retract covers. You'll also need the stock wheels to get the tyres, unless you're going to put on something different. The Jubros, I put on mine because I quite like the diamond tread, I think it makes them look a little bit more realistic. I'll show you how to put that onto your stock retracks, so you don't have to do anything else, you just buy a couple of collars, 532nd collars and a bit of 532nd pipe and I can show you how to fit them on. Before we go, I forgot you need two 12 inch extension cables. Let's get the wing out and get on with the build, shall we? For those using the stock gear, you just take your wheel, slot it into the slot, make sure this spring lines up this way. Then you just place your cover over and put your four screws in and you're done. Okay, on with the retract fit. To start the retract build, we've got to take this cover out. So let's get these screws undone and on to the next bit. I'll just get them out quickly. So we take that part out and that leaves us a nice hole here for the retract. You can see the retracts fit in there nicely, but we've got a bit more work to do yet. We've got to put these wires in, get this in. But firstly, what we've got to do is connect this up to our receiver and get the retract open. Okay, I'll go do that. Right, fitting the E-Flight pre-bent retract struts for the Hawker Hurricane. This is your best bet with this. It's the easiest way, it's the quickest way. So let's get into it and see how to do this. Look for where my grub screw is, line that up and put it in. Okay, that's that one in. Stick it back in the slot. Make sure that you've got the spring lined up here. The big straight arms at the front, pointing out. Okay, that's now ready to go in. By the way, I always use a bit of Loctite on that grub screw because you don't want it to come undone. Don't over tighten it, just do it tight enough and you'll be right. So just get it tight enough, bit of lock seal on it and away you go. It's now ready to go in. Next we get the retract cover doors and we're ready to install the retract doors. There's a left and a right, it's marked on the inside, that's the right one, it just slots in like that. Now we're ready to do it up, it, they come with the bolts, so put your four bolts in and screw it down. Don't use Loctite in these because it's just plastic, you just need to do them all down firmly. I'll get them done and then we'll get on to the next part. Next it's time to fit the 12 inch extension. Now what we've got to do here is drill a hole through here so that the wires can match up with these to go through into the main fuselage. That's where you've got to go through, just under the pipe here. 
and where the hole is. So you want to come up about that high. So look how high that is. Come around there, above that other hole. Get your angle right, so you're going to come out there and just with your hand, just carefully drill through. You can feel it coming with your finger. And there it is, a small hole. Just clean it up. You can see our hole in there. We just thread that through. And there we have it. Next up, we'll join these. Make sure you get your colours right and join it. I take a bit of double-sided tape then that I've got, cut it to length. Okay, we put it on there, then I peel off the back and I stick it roughly on the piece of plastic that's in there. It's out the way. And then you can root this round here, a bit of clear sticky to hold it in place. Push it round on there, keeping it flat. Another bit of sticky and just over that bit, just to hold it all nice and neat. There you can see we've got a nice neat job there now. That wire just pokes down in there. So there's a nice neat job. We have our retract wire through ready to go in with the other wires. Okay, let's fit the wheel. Undo your collar on your wheels that came with it. Take it off. Take the wheel off. Right, just slide the wheel on. A little knob of Loctite on your wheel lock sticker on and tighten her back up. Okay, that's our wheel done. So that's one retrack fitted. We do have to adjust it next. We'll plug it in to the receiver and we'll see what uh, it comes down like. Now all what's left to do is check that this wheel's lined up right and gonna come in here. Now if you've made sure your spring is on line with this, this wheel should come down into the well perfect. We'll go and test it. I'll put it onto the uh, receiver and we'll see. What you may need to do, we've got our wheel on now and as you can see I've loosened these four bolts off to make sure that I've got that dead centre. Now when I've got that dead centre, then tighten these bolts down one at a time. Not all the way, just bring them all up. All right, just keep that in position until you tighten it up so that when you finish tightening, your wheel's sitting dead center, just like this one. As you can see, our wheel's sitting dead center there. We've got the tape holding this. It's all nicely in there. It's all looking good. The retract's nearly finished. We've got our door cover to put on next. And once that's on, that's that side finished. With the pre-bent struts, you don't have to cut this tab off. If you go with the original struts that come with the retracts, you have to cut the knob off. This one you don't, it just goes straight on and clips on. And there we have it, our retracts finished. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. If you follow your manual, you can't make too many mistakes. And if you follow this guide, you should get it all right. It's quite easy to do really. I'll go and do the other side. And then I'll come back and we'll fit the flap wire to the flap servo. Show you how to do that. So what we do is, we plug in, I used a 12 inch extension and plugged into the receiver. And I now have it working. So I'm gonna put it into the middle position and I'm gonna put this in the lowest hole. Okay, we've got that in the lowest hole. Then we'll put it back to flaps closed position. Right, we can see they don't quite fit. So now we've got to work it out how to go. So we just unscrew these until we get the fit right. Okay, I'll just do that. There we go. And we put it on the top hole. So it needs a little bit more. So I'll undo that a couple more. Right, you can see it still needs more. We're wound all the way on. You've got plenty of adjustment there. You want them to be closed. There we go. That's about it. So then we push our rubber sleeve up that holds it. Put it on the top hole. Right, there's that one done, nice and closed. Let's do the other one. That looks about it. Put it together. Slide the wire, the rubber up. There we go. Yep, that's down, that's down, okay. We now have operational flaps. Two position. So now we have functioning flaps 
and retracts. So we're coming in for landing, as we said, half flaps, gear down, full flaps, in for landing. Okay, I'll get the other wing done and then we'll move on with the build of the Hurricane.